Hey everybody, welcome to J Stern Designs Fitting and Pattern Perfection. Um, I'm really sorry about the delay in getting um, this live stream going. My computer, for some reason, would not fetch the preview for the live stream, so I tried a few times and that did not work. So I decided I would just go old school with my phone instead. Um, we're coming... Um, up to quite a few weeks now of being in social distancing and um, you know trying to minimize all of the spreading of this coronavirus so um, when my gym closed I switched to hiking and initially hiking was fine because um, I would wear a coat like a like a ski jacket kind of thing and I would tie it around my waist and it had pockets so I could put my phone and my keys in there and I was happy snappy. I went hiking yesterday and I wore my little jacket that I wear tied around my waist with my pockets and I was boiling hot because when I'm hiking I'm really hiking. So I came up with this idea well, I didn't come up with this idea, but if you remember last year, I was trying to make a belt that had pockets to put things in so when you're hiking, you could wear them. Um, I got a little bit stopped at that with the zipper. I didn't like the way the zippered pockets were coming out, and it just it was getting to be too much um, work for what it was, so I kind of put it aside. This morning, I got up. I went to get ready to go hiking, and um, I came up with this idea. Now, literally... I took a piece of my yoga pants fabric and I cut it so it'd be snug like a waistband. And I sewed it into a circle. Okay, so all this is is um, a, a piece of fabric that's sewn into a circle. You can see there's the seam. And then what I did was I just sewed a few um, times to create individual pockets. And the whole top edge is open. Okay. So what I did was I put this on and I put it obviously so the open edge is face up and the folded edge is face down. Um, and I slipped my phone in there and I went hiking. It was wonderful. I didn't have to fiddle with it. Um, and actually, after the first, you know, five minutes of wearing it with my phone, um, I didn't even know I had it on. So I'm super excited about this as a solution for um, something you can wear around your waist that's really easy to make. You don't have to be hands-free with your phone. Um, you can even stick your key in there if you want to. I'm just going to fancy it up a little bit. So I'm just going to show you a really quick project you can do. This is about 11 inches deep this way, and it's the amount I need for a very snug fit around me. So folded in half, it's about this long. And I have right sides together. And I'm just gonna sew it on my sewing machine. I mean, you could do this step on your serger if you wanted to, but. Okay, so now I've got my, my strip of fabric sewn into a circle. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of elastic to the top edge. And this is my cut through sew through elastic and I've been using this to make masks, face masks. So um, before I got started, I, I didn't quite finish cutting. The nice thing about this elastic is you can cut it any width you want just following the, the ridges on the elastic. So I'm just gonna finish cutting this. So I'm making about mm, three eighths inch wide piece of elastic that I'm gonna use to just add a little bit of snugness, extra snugness to the waistband. If you have a defined waist, you probably would like to have a little elastic on the top of this. Um, honestly, it was not necessary for me because, like I said, I did test, I did test wear it this morning and um, it was fine. Now, if you're using a thin piece of elastic, I'm making it about 
maybe maybe five inches shorter than the top of my fabric because the thinner the elastic is, the more it's gonna stretch. Actually, and this is a good method for sewing the ends of the elastic together after you make a face mask too. If you pin it together and then just stitch it. Oops. All right, so I'm gonna just start stitching. And as I start stitching, I'm gonna just pull my pin out of the way. And I can use my pin as a sort of a stiletto to hold it. All right, and then I'll just go around in a circle. So I'll kind of just go a couple this way and then I'll turn it Oops, I'm slightly off, so I'll get back on. There we go. Just to secure that elastic. All right, so, so I'm gonna just put a pin here and then I'm gonna put the pin together with the seam to get my quarters here. And I'm just gonna put two pins there and there. You guys know how to do this. I'm basically just quartering the elastic. Um, and then I'm gonna sew it to the top of um, this. And actually, let me just quarter this first. So here's my strip. So here's my seam. Here's the other side. So I'm gonna put a pin there. And then I'm gonna put my pin and my seam together. Now, if you do not have a defined waist, if you're the top of where you're gonna seat, sit this on you is a similar measurement to your tummy and your full hips, you really do not need a piece of elastic. You can just fold down the edge and, um, you know, just maybe just, you know, just give yourself a little finished edge at the top, but we're gonna be a little fancy and put a little elastic here. All right, so I've got my quarters on here. I've got my quarters on here. So now I'm going to pin, I'm going to pin this to the top of this. And you want to pin it to the wrong side. So I'm going to take my seam and just line it up with this seam. Um, and then I'm just going to pin... Um, I'm just going to pin this one, the one next to it, to this one right here. So I'm just basically just pinning it on to hold it. And then we'll put this one with this one. And then finally, let's just pin this one to this one. So I probably have about an inch or a little bit more to ease in in each section, I think, because I did make it shorter. But if I pull it, you can see it will easily stretch to match. So um, what I'm gonna do now is, I think I will get my serger. All right, I'm gonna start right here. And I'm just gonna stick this under here. I have a narrow three thread, I'm just gonna go with that. Here. So we're just going to surge this elastic onto the edge of this. I've got this blue. And I'm stretching the elastic to match the fabric. I'm trimming a little bit just to make sure I catch it. My pin fell out here, so I'm just going to make sure I'm evenly distributing this ease. excited about this because I'll have a nice neat one. All right, so now that I've reached my start point, I'm going to put my knife down. I'm going to overlap my start point and then I'm going to lift my presser foot up, lift up the needle 
shift everything off the, the um, stitch fingers and then um, chain off. So that makes a nice start stop point. So instead of just veering off. All right, so Carol asks, what direction did you put the seam allowance? Um, to one side. So see, that's how it looks. So it's just going to one side. Um, I'm not really fussing with it too much because again, this is just gonna be, you know, a thing I'm gonna wear hiking. Now that I have this sewn like this, I'm just gonna turn it under this little bit and I'm gonna put some pins in there. And I'm literally just gonna pin, stretch and pin it maybe every five inches. Oh. All right, so I'm just gonna stretch and pin, stretch and pin. Not a ton of pins. I want to make sure I'm wrapping the elastic snugly, though. All right, so I've got that finished. I mean, turned. So now I'm going to get the sewing machine back here. All right, so I'm just going to sew this down now. I'm going to sew right on my surged edge. Um, and I'm going to have a relatively small stitch length. So I'm just going to stretch it and sew it. And I'll take the pins out as I get to them. Okay, now the thing about this is, this is just the single layer, and no one's going to see it, so don't, you know, you don't have to spend a ton of time making it look super duper neat. Um, the whole idea of this is to make something, you know, relatively quickly to be hands-free when you're hiking outside, or anywhere really. So I'm speed sewing right now. Almost there. All right, now I'm gonna back tack. All right, let's look and see what we have. Okay, so what we have now is we have this neat little elastic facing. Can everybody see that? I mean, an elastic waistline. It's just really skinny. It's just a little bit of, um, just to give it a little bit more security. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to fold this up so that it's almost to the top, maybe an inch from the top. Literally, when I made my first one, let me just show you. This first one that I made, if I turn it inside out, you can see I didn't even take the time this morning to make it exactly even. See what I mean? Like it's a little bit lower here, a little bit higher there, the two different layers. Um, and it's still, look out, look at the difference here. And it still worked great. So, you know, you don't have to be super fancy with this, um, but you do want to make it so it's secure. So you need to make it deep enough here so if you want to put your phone in it, for example, like I lay it sideways, there's plenty of room for it to fit this way. So then I'm just going to decide how many sections I want to make, you know, for individual compartments, let's call them. This makes it really nice not to have to hold anything when you're hiking or shopping or going to the, you know, even in the airport traveling when we get back to that stuff. All right, so see, I've got it like this. So I'm gonna make a seam like maybe right here. Okay, so I'm gonna sew right here. And then maybe a little bit towards the front, I'll sew again. 
right here. You know, maybe I'll put another, um, you know, another seam maybe over here. Just so things don't slide around on my waist. And then maybe I'll just put one more, you know, I'll do one more seam over here. So it's almost like I did it into quarters. Um, you just want to make sure you make a long enough so your phone will fit sideways. Okay, so I'm really, I really don't even care where I'm sewing, particularly because, like I said, it's just, it's just to keep it from completely sliding around. Um, and if you make this snug enough, then you're not even going to have to worry about that. I just want to make sure I'm even. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five inches there. Let me just make sure since we're doing it for real this time. make it five inches all the way around. Yeah, so that's basically five inches. Let's just check here, make sure we're five inches. Yeah, all right, so now all I'm gonna do is bring my sewing machine back. Can you see it? And I'm just gonna start at the bottom and I'm gonna sew these um, along my lines and I'm just stitching straight up and that's going to make my individual pockets. Now here's a thought if you feel like your tummy jiggles too much when you're or bustling your bustle hiking you can make it a little bit deeper and it would make a nice tummy control panel too. So this is, I'm really excited about this. Now this is my yoga pants fabric. So it is um, moisture wicking and antibacrobial and dry max and all that other stuff. So you could certainly make it out of, um, you know, any other fabric that stretches, that's comfortable. All right, you may be wondering why I didn't finish this inside edge here. And the reason why I'm not gonna turn that under and hem that or top stitch that down is I don't wanna feel the seam through there. So this will lay nice and flat. All right, so this is my completed happy hiking um, belt. 